So let's talk about this real quick. First things first, I want to know right now, type in the comments which you think is which. Which is path tracing, which is lumen. So A or B real quick, and then we'll talk about this and kind of give you the answers. So as you all know, 5.2 came out last week officially, and the city sample was updated to it. And in 5 and 5.1, I tried to use path tracing in the city sample demo. Well, good news is that as far as for me, obviously my experience right now, I was able to finally render in path trace mode, which is amazing. Obviously I had to take all of the cars out. I was only left with two cars that I added manually. And that's good news because before in five or 5.1, I would crash every time I would turn on path tracing. So definitely a start that we're actually able to make movies in the city sample demo with path tracing on. So with this little experiment now, we're taking a look at path tracing against Lumen again in 5.2. All right, so I've been doing this in 5.3, but we're going to go back to 5.2 so I can show you what's going on. So first things first, just a disclaimer. This little issue right here that you're seeing, there is actually bolts on this 3D model that cause this issue. All right, so you can see it in both A and B. All right, this one is a little bit of a sparkle. While the other in A, it's just a lot of ant noise. And another thing that I need to mention is that the mirror, the windshield right here, is a different material than the windshield for this one right here. Path tracing and Lumen, they work differently when it comes to windows and windshields and things like that. So I wouldn't really, it's not really an apples to apples comparison if you look at the windshield only. But that being said, A is path tracing. And B is Lumen hardware ray tracing, hit light reflections, maxed out for everything, everything maximum, rendered at 1080p on both of these. Now, what's interesting, again, in the path trace mode, I only sampled this at 756 samples per pixel. And surprisingly, even without the denoiser, it looked Amazing. As you all know, I turn off denoisers whenever I'm rendering in path tracing. I just don't like it. It mushes it up. So on the left side, that's only 756 samples per pixel. So on the left side, this entire piece, which is 800, it was supposed to be 960 frames, but I was still getting crashes in Unreal Engine 5.2 path tracing. Uh, so it rendered like 860 frames in eight hours for the path tracing at 1080p at 756 samples per pixel. On the right side, Lumen. And we'll play this back so you can kind of see it. On the right side, Lumen, hardware ray trace, maxed out, hit light, bounce, and stuff like that. That rendered in 12 freaking minutes. So here's the difference right here. And again, you see the little sparks in there. I'm pretty darn impressed. Because even though Lumen still gets a lot of these little weird ant shadow dancing thing on the ground and... Mainly, you can see it on the, uh, if you look at the actual garage right here, you still see a little bit of wonkiness. I think it's on the last shot. Now, even though Lumen still kind of looks a little wonky, as you can see right here, we're getting a lot of anti-aliasing, what it looks like. For rendering 12 minutes, man, 860 frames in 12 minutes compared to 8 hours, I... I'm really starting to get impressed with hardware ray tracing lumen. And I'm and I am emphasizing hardware ray tracing lumen because this is not the traditional software lumen. Completely two different things. So when you're looking at this, this is the hardware ray tracing lumen. And folks, it looks pretty good. Okay. It's starting to really look nice. I mean, don't take my word for it. Just look at this, all right? Tremendous improvement. It's getting pretty darn clean. Starting from 5, I think it was last April when Unreal Engine 5 came out, when I opened the City Sample demo, the reflections are starting to get really darn good. And even though this car is not Nanite, in with Nanite meshes, you can actually improve the precision normals again you know before you were able to do that in the project settings 
for cars and stuff. But since this isn't this isn't Nanite, the car isn't. Um, I didn't really change the precision normals, but the cars behind it, that's from the city sample demo. So I could have changed the precision normals to a higher quality, but that's kind of just like a background. I didn't even change the color for those two cars in the back. But, but that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I want to know your opinion on this, but 12 minutes compared to eight hours of render time for stuff like this. Without any humans or anything like that. Mainly for car commercials. I'm seeing a lot more car commercials. Official, big name brand car commercials being done in Unreal Engine 5. And to be honest, like I said last year, car commercials in Unreal Engine 5 and NVIDIA Omniverse. Freaking amazing idea. And that being said, I am actually just about done with my car commercial in unreal engine 5 course where i teach you how to animate and create a movie inside unreal engine 5 you know kind of like the videos i've been making lately but yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know in the comments below what you'll think and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out